what is absolutely Gucci with y'all? Before I start, let me put my hair like this, otherwise I'm gonna touch it the whole video. I've been away for a long time in this because YouTube is not my career, it's not my priority, but I like to come back to you guys and make videos for you guys. So every once in a while, I'll do it. Also in my previous video, I explained that my camera broke, which is why I'm now using my friend's camera. I still have it because I um, I borrowed it for my LA vlog, but it's still here because she's not using her camera anyway. I did a poll on Instagram and um, it said, I'm going to film a video for YouTube today. What do you guys want to see? And then it said bun tutorial or chit chat and 61% voted for chit chat so here it is i said if you voted for chit chat dm me what the chit chat should be about and i got a couple dms about what i should talk about um, people said about friendship young marriage uh about my music about friendship spirituality self-worth self-love but i came across this young lady her name is I really don't want to mess up your name, so I'm just going to show the people your page. And she said, how to navigate in this social media world and how to stay true to your core values and principles. And I was like, that's perfect. Also, with these chit chats, I don't really know where to start and I don't want to like ramble uh, for 20 minutes long. I don't want it to be a super, super long video. And lately... I've been getting a little upset with social media because I feel like the vibe on social media nowadays is really negative. Like things that, um, yeah, like posts about people that shed a negative negative light upon them get like really popular and like negative things go viral. And um, it's really to the point where it's yeah the depressing sometimes also the the whole xxx tentacion situation is just heartbreaking uh, may he rest in peace a lot of people have different opinions about it but at the end of the day i'm not i'm not gonna make the whole video about that but i really just want to say that at the end of the day he was 20 years old and I feel like when you're 20 years old, you are going to make mistakes and you're still not fully grown as a person. And, you know, I feel like in life you should live long enough to make mistakes and recognize your mistakes. And, you know, so that you get a chance to grow as a person and ask for forgiveness um, to the ones that you've hurt. So yeah, enough about that. How to stay true to your core values and principles. It sounds really corny. Um, but it's to stay true to yourself. Don't post stuff because you think that certain people are going to like it. No, post stuff because you like it. Because Post stuff because that's how you feel. And in life... There will always be people that are not going to like you, the things that you post, the things that you stand for, but that's okay. As soon as you understand that, your life will be so much better. I used to be like a people's pleaser, like I wanted to be everybody's friend, I wanted everybody to like me and then get offended if somebody did not like me or I heard that somebody was talking shit about me. And now it's just like, even if you're the sweetest person on earth, there will always be a person that's not going to like you. Because sometimes people don't like you because of how other people love you. And that's just how it is. That's their own insecurities. Uh, and they like, yeah, they're just insecure and they cannot take that. There's somebody out there just being themselves, regardless of what other people 
what other people might think about it. So yeah, one is stay true to yourself. And also, um, what I sometimes struggle with is don't compare yourself to other people. Don't compare yourself to certain posts, um, posts that you see on social media because um, I'll make it personal because since it's my YouTube channel, um, for example, I follow a lot of artists. I follow a lot of up and coming artists and then I see them sometimes like performing abroad or like have hella shows and I'm like, dang, like I really want that. I'm, I feel like I was born for that and sometimes you get you can get sucked into somebody else's life through social media and that's and that's very dangerous because it like it can make you feel very depressed and like not happy because you are like okay what am i doing wrong or like why am i not that far in my career or in my life when really it's just focus on yourself and like nobody's path will be exactly the same yeah you should just never compare your journey with somebody else's journey because then on top of that you only see like in that situation you're only comparing your bad your own bad situation or like your unhappy situation to somebody else's success when really you don't have any idea of what that person may been through because you only see the success and um i have to say everybody goes through through shit and has uh days where they are really down or really sad but that's social media a lot of people aren't uh, uh, that confident or that um comfortable with posting um not not necessarily negative things but like the days where they aren't that happy or aren't that successful so you will only see the successful days the happy days on social media you will only see what people show you so yeah that's that's really i think that those two points are are the most important don't compare yourself to anybody else on social media because it might not even be true sometimes it is true but sometimes it might not be true for example i have some friends who have like nearly a million followers or a million followers or like 50k or whatever and they are not happy with their life they are like popping on instagram and people think that they have a lot of friends or whatever or they have a lot of money it's not a bad thing if you aren't as successful as the successful people but i feel like if you aren't happy in real life you shouldn't act like you are on social media but that's just how i am i mean everybody's entitled to whatever they want to do with their social media but that's just how i am like i will never pretend to be a certain way if i don't feel like a certain way on social media if i don't feel the same in real life i know people with hella followers who aren't happy and then i also know people with maybe 100 followers or or 50 followers or maybe 400 followers and they are super successful it's just some people take social media really serious other people don't some people are successful off of social media and some aren't so it's really yes yeah, like everybody can do what they want with social media basically just be you um post whatever you want to post um because you like it and don't let anybody tell you that you like unle unless you are hurting somebody or like being rude to people if you're not bothering anybody with something that you like and that you believe in nobody should tell you shit yeah that's really my opinion if you're not harming anybody everybody should just leave you alone and let you post whatever you want to post because there are just 
some haters in this world and they are just not happy that's just how it is people who hate for no reason they are just unhappy with themselves sometimes i'm on the shade room and i comment something like i tag my friend and i say ha 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 for example and then there's just this hater mostly private accounts who are just hiding behind their profile and they're like uh, shut up bitch it's not even that funny and that's without a reason they don't know me they don't know my personality and they're just hating because they don't have anything else to do. They're not happy with their life. They're insecure. They want to take it out on social media. So just a random somebody. If it's not me, it's somebody else. So you just got to let the negative stuff go. Just don't entertain it. Sometimes you got to reply with love. So somebody will say, shut up, bitch, to me. And I'm like, God bless you. And then heart. And then sometimes people follow me after they were really rude to me. So yeah negative people on social media don't take them serious because that's just social media most of the time if you if you would meet those people in real life they wouldn't be as tough as on social media because a lot of times they are catfish or private profile with like five followers or something yeah, just don't en entertain the negative on social media that's also very very important so be yourself don't compare your journey to anybody else's journey on social media and do not entertain negativity. I think that that's all that I want to say for now. If you like this chit chat, like this video. If you want to see more of these videos, please put it in the comments or DM me. And I'm sorry if this is, is a little... How do you say that? Like, I'm sorry if I'm just saying random stuff all together. But it's just been a long time since I've made a video. So this this is just a genuine video on how I feel about social media and how to stay, stay true to yourself on social media. 